Everything in orthopedics really is about getting things to heal. In regenerative medicine, you're using your body's ability to heal itself. We do PRP as well as stem cells. Uh, and this can be to, say, avoid surgery. Or in the surgical setting, you can actually augment or improve the heal rate of many of the operations that we're doing. Over the years, my knees have been aching, but there's a fine line between pain and aches and getting through your usual triathlon blues. Uh, I did a triathlon in which I had a lot of pain both during the swim and particularly the bike ride and the run. And I went to see Dr. Gruber. We looked at the knees and we found out that I had a lot of issue with the cartilage that was left in both knees and it looked like I had some arthritis going on there unbeknownst to me. Some of the common things that we're dealing with is arthritis. We're doing PRP and stem cells for knee arthritis, hip arthritis, and shoulder arthritis. We're also treating a lot of situations conservatively. If somebody has a partial tear of maybe a rotator cuff tendon or a biceps tendon, there are certain strategies and certain techniques with biologic medicine that we're doing to try to keep patients out of surgery. So we're excited about that. As we were learning what was progressing with my knee, I was given an option to do PRP and HA. When I got the injections, uh, I felt some relief in the first two weeks, just a little bit. I don't know if that was a result of the PT and maybe some healing of the knee. But in the next coming months, I had a lot less stress on the knee, a lot less aches. It does give relief, and I know it will help with the arthritis in both of the knees. The procedure itself is done in the office. Patients will come in after we've determined their appropriate candidates. We'll do a blood draw. We take about 15 cc's and we spin down the patient's blood. So what you're left with, PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. You have a whole host of things, most importantly the platelets, which house growth factors and really the, everything that we think is important and crucial in allowing tissues to heal. The patient will be in the procedure room and then we will inject under ultrasound the involved joint, rotator cuff, or whatever it is that we may be treating. If we end up going to the operating room, for example, the rotator cuff, there's improved outcomes with augmentation of rotator cuff repair surgery with stem cells. I initially began in the OR, however, we have moved this over to the clinic setting as well. The majority of the stem cells that I'm doing currently are bone marrow harvest. We're able to do this very comfortably you know, in the clinic setting in our procedure room. In fact, I'm surprised myself that patients were able to tolerate it so well but they are. The most rewarding thing really is getting patients back to doing what they want to do, and that's pretty plain and simple, because that's why they're here. You know, they can't play a sport, and they can't play pickleball, they want to play pickleball. They can't hike, and now they can hike. So, I mean, that's pretty basic, but pretty you know, fundamental in orthopedics, and orthopedics as a specialty is really what it's all about. It's about function and quality of life. And if you're able to deliver that at a very high level, then your patients are typically very happy.